Hey, what's up, CTK family? Graham here with another episode of Devo on the Go. And specifically for today's devotion, today's reading, I want to share with you a quick story. Something happened to me several years back. I get a knock on my door at about 8 p.m. at night. Open the door, and I'm greeted by a woman uh, holding a cake, an entire carrot cake, I think it was. And she said, Graham, I made this cake for you. And I knew the woman. She was a, a mom of a, uh, a teenage boy in my student ministry. And so I, I, I of course, recognized her and, and knew who she was, but uh, was a little bit confused about the cake. And basically what she said was, Graham, um, you've, you've really made an impact in the life of my son. And so I was thinking of you and wanted you to have this cake. And that was pretty much it. Just went along, she left, and, and I had a, a big carrot cake to enjoy with the family. It was great, and I felt super loved by that. But I think whenever I, I consider that interaction, I'm reminded of the reality that for a parent, um, when, when someone does something for your kid, when someone does some, something for, some, for someone you care about, in a way, it's like they, you feel that too, right? When someone loves your kid, when someone it, it, it takes the time to educate them or coach them or, or just be patient with them, you, as a parent, you feel that too. And I think when we look at our reading from Matthew chapter 25 of Jesus separating the sheep from the goats in this very definitive final sort of scenario, there is this, this pattern that Jesus communicates where he, he looks to his sheep, those whom he has chosen from the beginning of the world, who, has, um, who, who, who he's, he's marked uh, for them an eternal inheritance. And he looks to them, and, and, and I'm summarizing, but says, um, you, I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was naked and you clothed me. I was in prison and you came and visited me. And, and the sheep are, are quite alarmed. They're like, Lord, when, when did we do these things? When, did we, when were you hungry and we came and fed you? When were you uh, naked and we came and clothed you? Uh, when were you in prison and we came and, and visited you? And Jesus responds and says, Whenever you did it for the least of these brothers and sisters, you also did it for me. And it's the same type of idea of, man, when you, when you did it for one of my children, you also did it for me. And, and I might encourage you just to, just to kind of personalize this, this whole concept, this whole biblical concept of what we see in Matthew 25. And, and, and simply, if you could say, if you could pray, and maybe this is hard right now because you're dealing with people that... that that make you frustrated and, and, and that can be difficult um, is to say, I can do it for you because he did it for me, right? When you think about the people in your life, your neighbor, your friends, or people you're not friends with and people you, you maybe, maybe have some real hard feelings about, I can do it for you because he did it for me, right? I can do it for you because he did it for me. I think that is true of all of us. We can love each other. We can serve each other. We can be a blessing to other people um, with hearts of gratitude and thankfulness because of what Christ has done for us. That's, that's what we should aim to be about as Christians, as people of God. I can do it for you because he did it for me. And as you kind of consider the, the Devo for this week and, and the readings, I encourage you to go back to that. I also encourage you to listen to uh, the Least of These by Matt Marr. Great song that really emphasizes on this Matthew 25 ch uh, text. And I think, I think you'll really enjoy it. I think it's super encouraging and a way to really dwell on the theme and the message for today. That's all I've got. I hope you're a blessing to others this week. And uh, I hope that um, truly you're reminded that you can do it for others because of what Christ has done for you. Blessings.